Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel today and um, we're going to be talking about the news that came out yesterday about Gran Turismo 7. So yeah, please let me know in the comment section if you already know about this, let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on this as you can tell. Gran Turismo 7 was supposed to be a PS5 only game. It has now been confirmed for PS4 and PS5. Now there is many reasons why I think this is a bad decision. I totally understand there's going to be a lot of people out there who are really grateful for this, who own PS4s. And I understand your point of view. I really do, trust me. But my my opinion is on what I think would have been the best for the game in terms of the future of the game. I think this is really letting down the game as a whole. So let me know in the comment section what you think. I'm interested to read. I understand there's going to be people that haven't managed to get a PS5 yet, but what I think you need to understand as well is this game isn't due out for another year. So you've got a whole year of a lot of stock coming onto the shelves. And you know this it has started to improve slightly, the stock situation. There is still a lot of people that haven't got one, but I have. I've noticed people starting to pick them up now. I've seen more people on my friends list that have started to grab them. And yeah, it's interesting. I just want to hear what your opinion is on it. Let me know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you, you know, if you want to see more of these videos, I do a lot of live streams of Gran Turismo. I'm mainly a Gran Turismo YouTuber, I would say. Um, I, I concentrate on Gran Turismo primary as a primary game. So I've, I think I've put enough hours into this game now to kind of give a valid reason for why I'm saying these things. So yeah, let's get on to the main reasons why I'm a little bit worried about Gran Turismo 7 launching on PS4. Now, my main reason for this is features. Now... I've heard a lot of talk about scalability and you know with other games like um, Horizon, um, God of War, that they can scale these games. Now, I, for them games, I think it's probably a good call. I would say for them games, I would say it actually probably makes sense because you probably can just scale the resolution down and stuff like this. And, you know, you can make basic changes, 30 FPS versus 60 FPS. That is not an option on Gran Turismo 7. You cannot run... A racing game like this at 30 fps and i am telling you now that kaz is kaz has already came out and said many a time before he is highly you know he wants to improve the frame rates over anything above resolution of 4k he's more interested in going for the fluidity of a game rather than concentrating on resolution so i'm telling you now no grand Tur grand turismo has always been very solid on frame rate there is no way they're going to 30 fps so the PS4 version will have to run a rock solid 60 FPS pretty much. Um, it may drop down in replays. You probably, I would say replays are definitely going to be sacrificed to 30 FPS for the PS4 version if it comes out. But, you know, we're going to have to look into that. You know, dynamic weather is the next one. On screen now is a part of the trailer, which as far as I can tell, that confirms to me dynamic weather for GT7 on PS5. Now, this is worrying for me because... They were kind of revealing little cryptic clues on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook a long time ago. It was quite a way back. And then suddenly we had complete silence from the game, which is probably, I have a, I'm kind of wondering if this was around the time that Sony have came to them and said, listen, you know, with the problems with COVID and the problems with um, getting the, 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 you know, the PS5 out to people with the, not being able to manufacture enough of the the chips and stuff like that then maybe they came to him around that time and said we need to make a ps4 version because otherwise we're, we're not going to make enough money and um, sony are obviously concentrating on trying to make as much money as physically possible so this is where i think they possibly came in because it, it was like almost like they were gearing up for a bit of a reveal gran turismo they started doing cryptic clues Ever since that, it went complete dead silence about GT7. Why would they start revealing? They even did a tweet saying GT7, um, you know, and hashtag soon or something like that, I think it was. And then it just went dead silence. And I feel like this is where it's all switched over to having to port a PS4 version. And this could have, I have a, I have a feeling this could have sacrificed so many things on GT7. Um, because let's be honest, GT Sport now, I play it every day. I love GT Sport. It's a great game. But it's missing some basic things that would make it such a good game. Dynamic weather. Dynamic time of day. Bigger lobbies. Let's be brutally honest. Public lobbies on GT Sport are limited to 16 people. Um, I don't think that's acceptable for PS5. And the big worry for me is 
people are going to come out and say, well, they'll just do one version for, you know, they'll split the player base. That is not going to happen. There's a big reason why it won't happen as well, because this is not a first person shooter. Games like Call of Duty, they can do that. They can split their player base if they really want to, because there's hundreds of thousands of people playing it. Gran Turismo is a racing game. Racing games don't tend to have the player base to do that kind of thing. And also, they've already confirmed FIA, Sport Mode, and Daily Races will be included in GT7. That has been confirmed. That's on their webpage confirming that FIA is going to be in there. So if these features are going to be in GT7, they are going to want the player base to be able to compete against each other. Which brings me to the question on, does that mean that we're still going to be limited to 20 player lobbies? And I think the answer is yes. I... I really believe the answer is going to be 100% limited to 20 player lobbies for sport mode, 16 players for public lobbies. Uh, whether they'll have some sort of public lobbies that PS5 players can go into separate, maybe, but that's going to be relevant. Who want, I want to do FIA with at least 30 car grids, and I don't think that's going to be a possibility anymore because if you think the PS4 can run a game like Gran Turismo, um, an eight-year-old PlayStation 4. We're talking about a standard PS4 because that is what they're going to make this game for. If you think that it can run GT7 at 60 FPS with dynamic weather, dynamic time of day, and 30 cars, when GT Sport currently can only run 20, there is a reason why we used to. We did actually used to run 24 players on GT Sport, and one of the big reasons why they had to stop it was because of the. It was too much for the baseline PS4. It, it was just causing too many disconnects, it couldn't keep up with it, and it was just having trouble with it. So, if it couldn't do it on the base PS4 for 24 players, with no dynamic time of day, no dynamic weather, um, no you know, no extreme tyre model that was on this game, you know, it's, it's quite a simplistic tyre model on GT, um, no damage model, etc., then... How are they going to get that to work on GT7? That is my big question. And to be brutally honest, I'm going to come out straight and say I don't think it'll, they'll be in there. I, I'm i predicting now that this game is going to be a more streamlined, very much GT Sport-esque, st static weather. With Maybe they'll have weather in there, but it won't be dynamic like it is now on GT Sport, for example. On GT Sport, we don't have dynamic weather. It's fully static. You just get a, on a few tracks that they added it in, it was either wet or dry um, because... The PS4 couldn't handle it on GT Sport. It's pretty obvious. Otherwise, they would have added dynamic weather in there. So, yeah. It looks to me, from my perspective, when I'm looking at this... Now, this is all speculation, but I'm just going by what I believe from what I'm seeing and what I've read and the fact that it went dead silence on GT7. It is really worrying. I hope that I'm wrong. I really, really do. Now, some people are going to say I'm neg I'm going to be... I'm very negative about this. Um, you're just saying this because you're selfish. Now, I'm going to say this straight away. If I was selfish and I was only thinking of myself as a YouTuber, I would say, go ahead, let's get the PS4 version out there, because let's be brutally honest, another possibility of 100 million people being able to buy, um, 100 million people, whatever it is, being able to buy a, a PlayStation 4, I'm um, sorry, being able to buy Gran Turismo 7 because they own a PS4, that's better for me because that's more potential viewers to watch my content and to watch my live streams, but I don't, I don't really care about that. All I care about is how good Gran Turismo 7 is, could be if they concentrated on the ps5 you know these features that we've been really you know we've, we've wanted these features of dynamic weather bigger grids multi-class racing we've wanted them for so long but i think we're now going to have to accept that there's a possibility that these are not going to happen now you know like i say with the scalability you can scale down a game as much as you want but feature wise how are you going to incorporate features that are more cpu intensive when the ps4 is so limited for cpu usage it's 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 not strong enough on the cpu to be able to do what we want from the ps5 so yes you might have pretty good visuals on the game you might have you know attractive cars more cars on there more tracks but do we re is that all we want from gran turismo is all we want from gran turismo more cars so you know more race cars more tracks you know, good looking game. Do we not want more features in a game? For me, I want to see the PlayStation 5 version of Gran Turismo 7 being the best game out there for console racing games, which it has the potential to be. However, now I think it's really held back. There's you, you cannot you you just can't tell me that the, the PS5 isn't going to get held back. It 100% is going to get held back, and I'm I'm really I'm gutted about this decision. 
I don't think that they're going to change their mind because it's Sony. I, I want to get this out there as well. I don't think this is anything to do with Polyphony. Polyphony, sorry. Um, I think this is 100% all on Sony. I think Sony have pushed this. I don't think it's anything to do with the developers. I don't think they've had a, a say in this decision. I don't think they want to do it because I'm pretty sure the way I, the, you know, from what we read about Kaz, I think he'd want to be pushing the PS5 and pushing everything that that console can do. I can't see him being happy about launching on a console that's eight years old. I think he'll be quite annoyed. And I'm pretty sure that Sony don't really care about this because I'm pretty sure they only want money. Now, I get the, the situation you know, with the, the global pandemic and everything going on and decisions have had to be made, but I still believe that Sony have really made a massive mistake. They, they confirmed GT7 as a PlayStation 5 only game. They pushed the narrative out there and they've backtracked and i just don't agree with sony's a lot of what sony are doing at the moment i'm a playstation gamer i don't really game on xbox i i could on the pc i have a pc capable of running any game on xbox that i wanted to but i just don't really i don't really get i just don't feel the need to go on them games i'm quite happy with gt sport and acc and i racing and stuff but yeah i want to know what your opinion is on this whole situation I think they've made a huge mistake. I think the game is going to be sacrificed and I am really disappointed. And I want to hear, I want to see in the comment section what your view is because I am, I totally understand that. I, I really want to get this out. I understand that people with a PS4 are going to be pretty happy about this. But you need to understand that the version of the game that you end up getting might not be as good as what you're thinking because there's a high possibility it could run pretty poor. I mean, it, it's... Let's be honest, the developers of Gran Turismo are geniuses when it comes to getting the most out of a console. So it wouldn't surprise me if they get it running reasonably well, you know, to a point where, you know, 900p and it looks okay, you know, it, it runs okay. But it, it's not going to be the, the same the same game that we're gonna, we could have had on the PS5. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. I'm really disappointed. I want to know what your thoughts on this are. This is why I'm doing this video. I want to get a kind of a, a, an opinion in the comment section i want to read as many comments as i can because i don't feel like i'm being selfish in this in the my view of this i understand people's situation with not being able to get a ps5 but this is a new generation of console it's time to move on it's time to progress and push the ps5 it's time to have a system seller on the ps5 because right now i'm thinking to my thinking to myself why did i buy a ps5 because there is literally there's just no reason to own one at the moment. Um, and with this news of GT7, yeah, it's going to run a bit better on it. But it's not going to be pushing that console the way it was supposed to. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think about this decision with regards to um, PS4. It's going to be coming out. And it has been confirmed pretty much by the head of Sony. So, one of the heads of Sony. So, this isn't speculation. This is pretty much confirmation. It's all over the internet. It's all over um, gaming websites. You can see it pretty much everywhere. And it's... I would say it's 99% chance that it's going to happen by looks of it. It's all but confirmed and it pretty much sums up the reason for the silence from Gran Turismo as a developer on Twitter and stuff like that. They've gone completely silent and yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm sure some some people are happy about this and yeah, and I totally respect that and I, I would love to read the comments with regards to these people because I want to see what, you are, uh, what you're expecting from GT7 because it's going to be interesting if people's expectations of GT7 on a PS4 actually gets fulfilled when the game comes out and i could be wrong about all this i'm going to put this out there i could be so wrong about all this they could come out and surprise us all and have the most amazing game ever but i'm finding that very unlikely so yeah i i hope i'm wrong i really do i want myself to be wrong on this because i want gt7 to be an amazing game that we all love but at the moment i'm feeling quite frustrated and i think there's a lot of people out there that are in the same position as myself so yeah, thanks again for watching everyone. Bit of a different video. I just mainly want to get your opinion on this in the comment section so I can gather a bit of thoughts from maybe doing a future video and seeing what people think and stuff. But yeah, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. We do stream GT Sport most days, videos most days on GT Sport and stuff and iRacing and ACC. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, get that subscription in, hit the notification button and you'll see me again within probably 24 hours because I am live most days. See you later everyone. Bye.